Good evening, my name is Bradley Collins, and uh, I'll be doing an argumentative speech this evening on should religion be taught in schools. This whole idea of religion being taught in schools has been getting attention from not only pro-religion in schools, but also from those who are against religion in schools. If you break it down and go back to the history, most of our large school systems and larger universities started out as a Christian-only assembly. So in the couple hundred years that some of these institutions have been alive and have been thriving, they have definitely went further and further away from that. But uh, as a pastor of a church, I am looking at it from a couple different lenses. I see, in my opinion, the need for it, but I also understand the critical side of it, those who are against it and uh, want to evaluate both sides of the argument uh, throughout uh, this video. Uh, also want to kind of hit three main points in this video. Uh, a couple things that are for, and then also the against side. Uh, the first point would be for societal moral reasons. Uh, another reason to be for this would be cultural reasons. Uh, but then on the against side, there is a lack of fairness reasons. And so um, kind of diving in and looking at this topic overall, uh, for number one, looking at societal moral reasons. It does not take uh, a rocket scientist. It does not take a political figure. It does not take uh, anyone who has uh, looked into our culture long uh, to see that uh, society has taken a moral downturn. Uh, where we have went different directions, we have dropped the standards, uh, we have allowed wrong things to take hold, and we found ourselves in a pretty big mess in this country. And that doesn't mean that you have to be religious to see that or look at it through a religious lens. There are problems on every hand, uh, whether it be uh, cultural issues, whether it be uh, race issues, whether it be religious issues, those issues are on every paper of every news network anywhere that you turn. And uh, I believe that we should have religion in our school systems being taught for the moral reasons. Uh, we have such a vast amount of people from so many different backgrounds that make up this country. And so uh, the morality side of it is keeping a standard set to where right is right and wrong is wrong, no matter what way you look at it. Where if you do the crime, you do the time. If you uh, if you have have committed uh, some type of uh, of law offense, you you have broken the law. Uh, I believe people should be held accountable. It doesn't matter who you are, what uh, what societal uh, tier that you fall into, whether you're rich or whether on the lower end. Everyone should be treated fairly, and I believe that religion teaches that. Uh, at least the Christianity side of things, that if you do something wrong, there is a penalty for that, regardless of who you are or your standing in society. Uh, but number two, I want to look at the cultural reasons. Uh, as I made mention a minute ago, uh, America is a, uh, a mesh pot, if you could put it that way, of all kinds of cultures, all kinds of backgrounds, of all kinds of belief systems. And so to implement uh, religion in the school systems would take all of those cultures and kind of put them in one basket together uh, to where you can study a lot of the mainstream religions. You are able to understand what Christians believe and why, and that's not trying to uh, push or try to convert someone to that religion. Uh, but I think of having these cultural awareness of religions um, kind of in a class in school would really broaden someone's mind on respecting those other religions. As I said, I'm a Christian pastor. Uh, I would love everyone to be a Christian, but I do respect the beliefs. The gospel gives everyone a choice, uh, whether you want to receive Christ or not receive Christ. Uh, just as being a Muslim, uh, you would have to convert to that. Uh, being a, a Buddhist or being a Hindu, there are so many different factors that line up in different mainstream uh, religions, that having a cultural awareness about this, if you encounter someone uh, who is Hindu that you've never encountered before, um, it would give you a basic understanding of what their thought process is in approaching something. And it's just an awareness thing uh, to, to allow people to have that knowledge uh, of, of what other beliefs are 
I, I live here in the Asheville, North Carolina area. We have all kinds of belief systems that are here, all the way from witchcraft to, to Christianity to Hinduism. Uh, we have a Hindu temple that is built up high on a mountain, and down at the bottom of the mountain is some of the most biggest rednecks you've ever seen that slaughter cows. And on top of the mountain, they hold those in high regard uh, in the Hindu religion and almost a sense of worship uh, towards uh, cows and things of that nature and different animals. So quite the spectrum of what we have here in the Asheville area. So I've seen where having a basic understanding of someone else's beliefs uh, can give you uh, a good talking point. It can give you a, a, a viewpoint of how they see things. So that's why I think those could definitely be brought into the school system to have that cultural awareness with religions. Uh, but third, there's the crowd that says they are against that. And I'll tell you why I understand where they come from. They believe that it is a lack of fairness because there are so many different religions to try to comprehensively put into a class. Uh, my last count was there are over 4,000 types of religions and denominations of all different kinds here only in America. If you were to try to break down the different groups of Christianity, the different groups, uh, groups of Muslims, the different groups uh, of Hinduism and how strict they are versus how uh, more lenient they are on some of the doctrines of that religion, uh, to try to encompass all of that into a class, I can see definitely how those who are against this can make a fair point that it would be too much to cover and you wouldn't be respecting all of these other religions and all of their doctrines and all of their belief systems fairly because there's just too much to cover uh, in a class. Now, if you were trying to implement a uh, class every year, Throughout the four years of high school, that would encompass all these things. You might have more time, uh, but trying to incorporate that much of religion into a high school curriculum on top of everything else that they have definitely is quite a bit. So just as kind of a review, uh, there are many people that say they are for it for societal reasons, moral reasons, uh, and then there's the cultural reasons, uh, just to have a good cultural awareness or a, a societal moral awareness of what people believe and why they believe that way. Uh, and then there's the against crowd, that is the lack of fairness for the smaller denominations or the smaller religious groups that are represented. Uh, the school districts that are more rural in their areas probably don't have a, a large group of religions that make up the population of that small community. So do you try to hone in on those, or do you try to just talk about those, but then you lack on the uh, the idea of trying to be encompassing everybody and being fair to all religions? So uh, just to kind of uh, to close out this, this video and to close out this argumentative thought process, um, should we or should we not? There's different viewpoints of everybody. I personally have spent many, many years just, just looking into other religious and denominations and uh, how they view things and what they view about my religion. That way, if I encounter them, we can have a conversation, not an argument, but a conversation uh, to where we can be fair with each other and understand each other's background. But not everybody does that. And it took way more than a, a year or two or a semester or two of, of college and Bible college and personal study to get to that point. So while I do think in some instances we should have some cultural awarenesses of that, I also see where some people might be left out and could be offended by that. So hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope it sparked some thought process on this very sensitive topic. Hope you have a great evening.